In this problem, we're being asked to use the remainder theorem to find f of 3. So one way to do this is to just plug 3 in and get the answer. However, in this problem, the question wants us to use the remainder theorem. So let's go ahead and do it that way. The remainder theorem says when you divide a polynomial by x minus c, then the remainder is equal to f of c. So here we want to find f of 3, so we have to divide this by x minus 3. So in order to divide this uh, by x minus 3, um, we're going to use synthetic division. So you start by switching the sign here, so 3. And then you write down the coefficients of your polynomial. So there is a 1 here, it's visible. So 1, negative 7, 5, and then negative 6. And then you draw a line. First step is to take this and bring it down. So when we bring it down, we get 1. And then we multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. And then we add these and we get negative 4. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. We add these and we get negative 7. And then negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. And we add these and we get negative 27. Let me just check that. 1, 1, 1 times 3 is 3. You add, you get negative 4. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. You add, you get negative 7. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. You add, you get negative 27. So this is the remainder. So f of 3 is equal to negative 27. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.